In today's rapidly changing digital media environment, it's not uncommon to find folks with remnants of our analog recording devices from the past. So what to do with your VHS tapes, mini DV, or your 8mm film now that your playback devices are no longer operational? How do you regain these seemingly lost family treasures? The answer may be no further away than the Coquitlam Public Library, where patrons are able to book access to their digitization suite. Steve Nicklin of the Coquitlam Public Library explains how this service came into being. When I started here at the library, we had uh, some equipment um, that some patrons were using, and I started to notice, uh, and other staff members as well, that we had a demand for other types of media, such as VHS tapes, uh, 8mm film, uh, things that people didn't have the equipment to convert anymore. So there, we definitely had the demand from patrons to build something where they could come in uh, and convert their old tapes or old media before they were you know, unusable. And, you know, over time, this type of media, it starts to break down. Uh, tapes stick together. Um, they start to deteriorate. So they, they don't last forever. Uh, most digital media that's on tape, over every year it sits on a shelf. It, it degrades a little bit more. And you never know if that tape's going to snap when you go to play it back, uh, that, that type of thing. So it is important that if you have that media, because uh, in time, you know, it, it'll, it'll be lost. While it started out from humble beginnings, the digitization suite can handle a wide variety of media formats today. The digitization room started out, uh, it was basically a scanner and a very nice um, microfilm uh, microfiche reader, which we still have in the room. So starting with that, you can convert uh, your home photographs pretty much in any format that you have or size. We have a number of different slide formats uh, we, we support including some odd ones that we've had to order some special holders for. Uh, and then moving over to the more common video formats you might want to work on, we've got mini DVD, uh, VHS, VHSC, uh, Video 8, uh, and then my favorite is the 8mm and Super 8 conversion machine. A lot of people have that old film sitting on their shelf somewhere, and uh, it, it gives a pretty good uh, video picture when you convert those because they're individual frames, just like a movie production. In addition to that, we also have uh, audio cassettes. Uh, a lot of people have old interviews on audio cassette or old music uh, from their band in, in the 80s, maybe, they want to convert. Uh, and also, th we've added three and a half inch floppy disk conversion if you have an old uh, disk you find in a drawer somewhere that you need to get a, an old resume off or something. If you are concerned that you lack the technical skills to record the media on your own, fear not. Library staff are available to provide assistance and they have done their utmost to simplify the process. Some people have a challenge using the equipment. It did, you know, we, uh, they assume they need some kind of technical ability. You know, they can run a, maybe a, a, a camcorder, but how do I get that into a digital format? So we do offer one-on-one -on -one sessions where folks can book a time with one of our technical staff, and they will sit with them and, and start the process and, and get them set up, walk them through the instructions and explain things to them, and, and sort of get them rolling so uh, they can have something to take home with them. We've made it uh, pretty simple for people, so we have an easy method for conversion and a more advanced method. So for those folks that are not technical, you can come in with, say, a VHS tape and a blank DVD, which we do sell here at the library as well. If you don't have any, we, we keep a stock. You can put both of those in the machine and kind of sort of press convert and walk away, and it'll dump it onto the DVD for you in, in one sweep. If you want to do some editing, that machine is also connected to the computer. So you can press play, have it feed through the computer, and make an, a file on the computer. And there's editing software available there for you to use free of charge um, to add the titles and then eventually burn it to DVD. Or if you want to copy it to a USB stick, we have instructions for that as well. Steve can speak to the value of restoring your treasured memories as he's made good use of the service himself. You know, that's one of the best parts about if you're the, the family member that's discovering these gems uh, hidden in a box somewhere from a, uh, a relative people haven't talked to in a long time is when you finally get this onto a format that you can bring over and show somebody uh, on a phone or I've posted stuff to social media for relatives that are, that are not nearby and the comments are amazing because they're just as touched as you are, right? They're, they're, these are, especially for some of the older generation that has even more memories of that time period, uh, just seeing it visually and hearing people's voices it does the same for them. Like hearing my grandfather sitting in his old leather chair speaking with a broken French accent down on Roderick Street, it was just brought back memories of my childhood because they passed away when I was very young. 
And the real gem for me was uh, my uncle, when he moved, passed me a box full of old 8mm tapes and, and equipment that I kind of forgot about. I'd be busy with life and my own kids. And uh, so I, I pulled those out, and lo and behold, there was actual video footage, silent film, mind you, uh, in color of my grandparents uh, and a lot of older uncles and such that had passed away. And there, some of them are party pictures where they're doing the limbo. Other ones are just goofing around in front of their house. Uh, I, there was even me on there as a little kid at a barbecue out in White Rock that I, I didn't even know they had filmed me. So yeah, it, uh, it truly is just heartwarming to see those kind of things. I'll admit it brought a tear to my eyes seeing and hearing that uh, when, you, when you don't think you're going to um, hear them again, right, uh, when they've long passed on. So it's very special. So if you'd like to learn more about how to use the digitization station or contact the library, please go to our website at uh, coqlibrary.ca. And uh, we have a page there for the digitization station. And what you'll see there is a list of the equipment we have. You'll see the types of formats that we can convert. And we've even got the instructions there. So if you're a bit nervous about doing it and you'd like to go through the steps to see how difficult it is, you can just open up the instructions on your computer and, and have a look through them before you come. Um, they're available here in the room as well. So you can follow along or you can print a copy at home if you'd like to do that. But uh, on there as well is the contact information. You'll need to book the room uh, and give yourself a buffer. So if you've got a 30-minute uh, VHS to convert, you know, give yourself an hour, an hour and a half in the room uh, so you can become familiar with the equipment, maybe have a good cry over the material and, and get it converted. Mm -hmm.